Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and this morning we're coming to you from the RE Plus Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. And this morning I'm joined by Chris Thompson from Solar Edge, and we're looking at the Solar Edge uh, smart home uh, energy ecosystem. So, Chris, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for coming by. Appreciate to have you here. Absolutely. So I see a number of new products and new capabilities here. Please walk us through what makes up the new Solar Edge Home Smart Energy Ecosystem. Sure. So I'll start by a high level. The first thing is we now have the complete home energy ecosystem. You'll see there's a long range of products here. We'll go through them a little bit briefly. And the first thing I would start off with is we now have a common communication backbone between our devices. So we call this our home network. And so now our different devices can communicate through each other through the home network makes it easy to integrate the ecosystem, have a simple monitoring platform for everything, and then basically control your devices and your energy usage in the home. Excellent, excellent. So I, I see a number of components here, if we can just sort of walk through. So I, there's the Solar Edge home battery, yeah. which I know we've come out about a year ago. Uh, tell us about the new Solar Edge Home Hub Inverter. Okay, so so the Home Hub Inverter, uh, this has gotten a little bit bigger in size. We're seeing solar systems getting a little bit bigger over time. And so this is now up to 11.4 kilowatts. And then of course paired with all our inverters is our optimizer. And we have a new series of optimizers right now. This is called the S-Series. And so one thing that we're seeing, I think across the industry, is modules are getting bigger. And so optimizers get bigger, so our optimizers are getting bigger now. And we also have a new form of, of safety and detection or monitoring temperature of connectors in the system. So we can anticipate and predict potential failure modes in the system. And so we're excited to, to be launching the, the new optimizer at the show and also larger inverters at the show as well. Excellent. Well, I, I know I know one thing that a number of the viewers are going to be concerned with is this issue of clipping loss. You know, as you mentioned, yes. as the PV modules, the DC output on the PV modules gets higher and higher. Now we're looking at you know 450 uh, in some cases sure. uh, watts per panel. Uh, what kind of power handling does the new S series optimizer offer? Yeah. So the new series are going uh, 400 and 500 watts right now. We'll be launching larger ones. And if you look around the booth, you'll see even 1200 and 1400 uh, watt optimizers for bigger systems. So as the modules are getting bigger in the industry we're you know walking lockstep with them to make sure the optimizers go along with them as well excellent excellent now another trend that you know i think we've seen here in the past year with solar plus storage is there's homeowners really having a lot of demand for a, a heavier whole house backup solution sure, sure. as opposed to the traditional uh, critical loads only backup and i know I, i've been covering solar edge and, and installing even um, when you did the first residential i believe it was the store edge with the lg chem battery sure, that but it, well, yeah. and that but that was a critical loads backup only yeah, yeah. type type solution so tell us about the new solar edge uh, home backup interface how does this allow for a whole house backup Backup. Sure. So what we're seeing now is uh, more and more homeowners want to do whole home backup. And what, what's nice about the system is with, with the backup interface and, and then over here we have our load control modules. And what's unique about the load control modules is I, I talked about the networking system before. So these are wireless devices that are on our home network. And so now homeowners have the ability to go to full home backup by using load control. And what's really neat about load control is it's intelligent load control on our network. And so you can do decision-based load control. So the example I use is air conditioning. Air conditioning is a pretty big load. And when you have a generous amount of PV, you may want to run your air conditioning at that point and your load controller can manage that. But then when the sun goes down, you know, air conditioning is a relatively big load and you may not want to run it on battery because it would drain the battery faster and you could turn it off. So the nice part about having the combination of PV and your battery and load control is you have a complete closed loop control system and you can manage that very dynamically. And, and so the, the hardware is interesting, but for me, the, the real intelligence of it is in the cloud and in the software that lets you make those decisions. And of course, those things can all be done autonomously, which is great. So the homeowner doesn't need to worry about those things. It'll just happen in the background very seamlessly. Excellent. Well, for those of you who have been following this, you know, one of the things that helps with a successful solar plush storage implementation is for the homeowner to have high degree of visibility and control over where the energy is being spent, particularly during evening hours. If you're running in a backup mode during evening hours, you're, you know, there, there's no solar that's able to help carry the load, so you're pulling the entire load from the battery. And even with a large battery backup system, which we can, we can talk about some of the limits here in a moment, but even with a large battery backup system, you still want to have control on where you spend your energy. So, for example, you may not want to run air conditioning overnight. Or may, maybe you do want to run air conditioning overnight, but, in, you know, you're willing to trade off the clothes dryer yep. in, in order to do that. And so that's where the intelligent load management 
uh, comes into play. So if you wouldn't mind, quickly introduce us to the different load management devices. I see you have the, the main backup interface here. Yes, yes. And so is this kind of like the, the transfer switch? Yeah, so this is so we call it the backup interface, and this is really the main interface with the grid. This is a 200 amp device, and you can put three of these inverters in it, so you can basically get about 30 kilowatts of, uh, of AC PV over here. And then each inverter can take three batteries. So we're looking at, on, on a basic unit here, getting a little over 30 kW of AC from the PV, and then getting nine batteries, so that'd be 90 kilowatts hours so it's pretty generous on the size and then the the load control devices so this is a Wi-Fi gateway this is not load control but we have basically three devices so we have what's called a socket so you can discreetly control a plug-in load but then this particular device here the, the smart switch in the load controller this is the wireless device this is paired with a contactor so you can size the contactor to any size load that you may want to control in your home so you could have a small load a medium large extra large load in your home those can all be managed and this basically makes it intelligent. It'll all be controlled in the app. It will do condition-based decision-making. And so with, with all of those combined is how you get that kind of seamless load control uh, in that. Now, now, we also have a, a hot water controller. And so for people who are using electric hot water, that can be part of it. Because a hot water heater can use a lot of electricity. Yeah. And so, so if, if you want to control this, and this is an on-off, it basically will do linear proportional control on a hot water heater. And so that will let someone, um, you mentioned clipping a little bit earlier, if someone doesn't want to clip or someone doesn't want to back feed energy, into the grid, you could put a proportional amount into the hot water heater and then basically create that energy balance within the home and, uh, and not export to the grid. Very cool. So you can control individual outlets, individual plug-in loads, um, hardwired loads, special control for the water heater loads. Is this kind of like a variable resistor or variable yeah, Exactly, yep, yep, yep. Just proportional control on an on electric hot water heater. Obviously, it's not going to work in a natural gas water heater. Sure, sure. And then, of course, the Solar Edge EV charger, which, which we've seen, you know, we've covered this in the past. Yeah. And, and so, folks, what you're looking at here, these are all the components that make up the new Solar Edge home smart energy ecosystem. You know, the advantage, and I, I've talked about this, and this is, this is one of the trends that we're seeing in the industry, is everything sort of converging under one brand with the inverter manufacturer, whether it be the battery, the monitoring app. Um, the, the control panel, the, the transfer switch, um, having everything under one brand, under one warranty, under one app, um, in many cases provides a more seamless uh, solution for the homeowner and for the installer. So, um, Chris, anything else that the, the audience should know, uh, lastly, about this uh, SolarEdge uh, smart home ecosystem? No, I just say stop by, come visit us today. We've had a busy booth yesterday. We're looking forward to talking to people about it when they come by today. All right. Well, Thanks thank you very much for taking yeah. time with us this Appreciate morning. Your time. Hey, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on Solar Surge, make sure you click on the thumbs up button. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we, we publish the new videos, it'll come up in your feed and you won't miss out on anything. Uh, of course, if you would like to get a quote, if you're a homeowner looking for solar plus storage options, if you'd like to get a quote for the Solar Edge system or any of the other leading systems, uh, as always, just feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. You can chat with one of our team members here and we'll get some numbers and some information for you. Well, folks, thank you for tuning into Solar Search today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.